Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll do it in English. Uh, so thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Imagine that what you are seeing here, this tracing, is the electrical activation of your heart, your own heart. This electrical activation is triggering the heart muscle so it becomes a pump which will distribute the blood throughout your body, to your arms, to your legs, to your brain, constantly, 60 times every minute for the rest of your lives. The circulation and the heart will enable you to think, will enable you to move, will enable you to breathe, will enable you to live. And now your heart will need to accelerate. You are exercising and you feel great. You will be, your heart will be working harder. You will be pumping more blood to your legs. You are running. You need to breathe faster to receive more oxygen. Therefore, the heart will pump more blood to your lungs. Your body temperature will increase and therefore you will start sweating. Exercise will make your muscles better, bigger, thicker, stronger. The heart is a muscle and therefore exercise will make your heart bigger, better, stronger. This is what happens to the heart of an athlete. It becomes bigger to reach maximum capacity. It becomes slower to become very, very efficient. Therefore, the heart is the perfect machine. Unfortunately, not always. Sometimes, just in a split second, things can go wrong, dramatically wrong in your heart. Just at that moment, your heart starts beating very, very fast. And here, instead of beating and contracting, it starts to shiver. The heart is shivering. It's simply contracting erratically, inefficiently, unable to pump the blood out of the heart. Therefore, the blood will not reach your brain. You will lose consciousness, you have no time to react, you will fall to the ground. And at that moment, the clock starts ticking. You have exactly 10 minutes in order for somebody to bring your heart back to a normal rhythm. 10 minutes, which is more or less the length of this talk. Sudden cardiac death is the silent killer. It is the death from a cardiac cause which occurs within hours after losing consciousness. Simply, the person falls to the ground unconscious and a few hours later, the person is dead. Sudden cardiac death is the most aggressive killer in our society, killing old people, young people, the rich and the poor, males and females. Sudden cardiac death kills 800,000 individuals each year in the Western world. It is causing more deaths than AIDS, stroke, lung and breast cancer together. 80% of the deaths from um, sudden cardiac deaths are related or associated with coronary artery disease. The blockage of one of the coronary arteries, the arteries that fit the heart muscle. This will happen in males and females Simply, a piece of the heart will die, a piece of the heart muscle will die, and this may trigger an arrhythmia and sudden cardiac death. There are 7 million heart attacks each year in the world. Of those, 30% will die, and half of those will not be able to reach the hospital on time. The other 20% of sudden cardiac deaths are related, especially in the young, with an inherited disease, genetic disease, familial disease. This will affect very young individuals, but it will have tremendous implications for the families because we are talking about a familial disease and therefore other family members may be at risk of dying suddenly. In this situation, what we have is a genetic defect that will alter the electrical generation of the electrical current or the electrical transmission of the current throughout the heart. And therefore, this genetic disease 
will disrupt this electrical activation and simply cause the heart to start shivering. We remember about sudden cardiac death every time an athlete, an elite athlete dies. It is when an athlete dies that we have felt, as or medicine has felt. We have felt because simply we have been unable to identify those individuals who are at risk before the fatal event. And we have felt because we have been unable to make people aware of the needed prevention to protect these individuals. However, we've been working in this field for many, many years. And it is true that we come out to the light, out of the laboratories, we come out to the light every time an elite athlete dies. However, the research has been ongoing for several years in the field of sudden cardiac death. Prevention of sudden cardiac death requires a global, a global approach. This is what I would like to talk to you about. It requires a global approach because it requires a multidisciplinary approach. All health-related sciences, society, public, everybody can play a role in protecting people from sudden cardiac death. The global approach is what we have decided to undertake in Girona, and that's what I would like to discuss with you, with the six main, six main areas in which we are involved at present. 80% of the sudden cardiac deaths are related to coronary artery disease, the blockage of the coronary arteries. Therefore, we need to start making people aware since childhood that health habits are important because our health habits will determine our risk of developing coronary artery disease. And therefore, we need to work with children, with schools, with teachers, and with parents to make them understand that what we eat, how much we exercise, and whether we smoke is actually important for our health. Prevention of sudden cardiac death is public awareness of the benefits of exercise, but also of its risks. Exercise is medicine. Physical activity, sports, is health under medical supervision. That we cannot undertake a heavy physical activity without the proper medical checkup. That we cannot become competitive athletes, athletes who work or work out every single day without the proper medical checkup. That we cannot restart a sports program 20 years later at age 40 without the proper medical checkup. Medical checkup, by the way, which is cheaper than a pair of running shoes. Sudden death prevention is awareness that we need to make people understand, especially families understand, that the unexplained death can be genetic. That the families should not accept the unexplained death of a young individual, a 20-year-old, as destiny or bad luck. That they should understand that the death from unexplained causes from, uh, of a child could be genetic. This is important because it could be genetic, could be familial, and therefore the brothers, the sisters, or the parents could be at risk of dying suddenly from the same disease also. Prevention of sudden cardiac death is reinforcing basic research, discovering new diseases, discovering new genetic defects, discovering new mechanisms of arrhythmogenesis to understand better how the heart works and how it fails. Prevention of sudden cardiac death is translation. Bringing these tools, these research ideas, these research projects, these research development to the bedside. To make them available to the clinicians to better diagnose, to better identify those individuals at risk. It is when the research tools are made available to the clinicians that society understands the value of research, not before. And when everything has failed, we have to be there. We have 10 minutes. You lose consciousness because your heart starts shivering and the blood does not circulate. And you have exactly 10 minutes for somebody to restore your heart back to normal. Somebody has to give you an electrical shock. Can be 
the ambulance, or it can be somebody else. Public access the fibrillator, the availability of the fibrillators throughout the streets, throughout sports arenas, public institutions having a defibrillator available for somebody to give you that shock of life, that electrical activity that will bring back your heart to a normal rhythm. Girona, especially, has right now the biggest defibrillation project, defibrillator project in Europe, which will be finished, the implantation will be finished at the end of this year. Approximately 22 people will have died during this talk, some of them children. Six areas in which we work, health habits in schools, making families aware of the risks of somebody younger or somebody young dying in the family, exercise, research, translation, and public access to fibrillation. This is our work on sudden cardiac death, our global approach in Girona. Thank you very much. <coughs>